What's your, <laughs> what advice would you give people in life? In life? Um, I would say just whatever you want to do, go after it. Art mean to me? Well, ever since I was little, you know, art has always been a part of my life. I would, you know, express myself through little doodles. I would even take a notepad to church and doodle while the preacher was preaching. Um, and little things like that. Things that inspire me are everything that that is around the world, you know, going to different cities, seeing different people and different cultures. You know, I might go to a city and then I'm I'm drawing what I see, like uh, street musicians, all the way down to, you know, uh, landscapes, uh, corner stores, things of that nature. I like using a variety of mediums. Um, it really doesn't matter. I kind of just go off what I feel for the day. But I could use acrylics, oils, watercolor, Copic markers, pens. But today I'm using um, watercolor under a uh, pen. I think that's a good combination with Copic marker on top. It also works well with tea. And that's pretty interesting. It gives you lots of textures that I like to play with, I think. I like I like different mediums just because, you know, I like to switch it up and because I'm always focusing on elevating my craft, you know, finding what mediums go well and what mixes well together and what looks good in my eye. I really kind of don't worry about what other people think of my art. I just kind of do what works for me. And if they love it, they love it. And if they don't, it's okay too. I believe I was created to create, you know? Um, so ADV is basically just my initials and I was born in 91. So that's how you get ADV 91. And I really use art as a way to control my emotions. So you would never have to, in my opinion, you would never have to ask an artist how they're feeling. And if you do, you can look on the canvas and see, you know, how the artist is feeling, whether it's happy, sad, anger, it's going to be portrayed in their work. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. <laughs> city and just um, seeing those murals around my town I think that I would say that that is a goal for me to go back and be asked you know to paint a mural and to join those other artists who got to you know leave a piece of themselves I'm used to wanting to be like you know Picasso and be this big thing but I think for now I just want to use my gift and I don't want to waste what God has given me I want to make sure that I exhaust it and I leave it all in this realm one day I was like, I was standing outside and I saw this butterfly. It was just almost as, as time like froze and stood still, but the butterfly, he was still just floating and he looked so peaceful and, and free. And monarch, if you think about the definition and what a monarch is, a monarch is a sovereign head of state or a king or queen or emperor. So say perhaps I paint a person and I paint butterflies around them. That might be my salute to them saying like, you know, I see you. you're doing something great out here, you know, because we all are kings and queens, I believe. We all are royalty.